Now I hope you were paying attention last week when I spoke about this little lot here, uh, this big lot here, aftermarket cans. We spoke about what you get and what you need to pay to get that. Well, as promised, we've had them all on a dyno, and this is what we found. We took all of our cans along to meet our old friend Jared Frost at Holtshot Racing across in Yorkshire. If anyone knows about performance, Jared is the man. First job was to establish a reference point, so with the standard can on, three runs were done on the bike, right up 13,500 revs beyond the red line, and the average taken, this being 90 brake horsepower. And so on to the aftermarket cans, and first up is the Hytera, £199 worth of round carbon race can. Again, three readings were done, and Hytera's best performance turned out to be 92.9 brake horsepower. Next up, the dearest in our little gathering, the Devil, £314 for this round carbon race can. And Devil's best performance on the day, 93 brake horsepower. Next up was the Edge race can, £190 this one. Again, three runs were conducted. And Edge's best performance today was 93.3 brake horsepower. Now the first of our oval cans, the Blue Flame, £219 will buy you this tricky coloured oval race can. Again, three runs were conducted with the Blue Flame, and I should point out that no rejetting was done on the machine with any of these cans, and most machines would benefit from some rejetting. Blue Flame managed to score 94.5 brake horsepower. And so on to a rather different looking can from Norman Hyde. This is a textured pearl red alloy race can. And if that's not a mouthful, I don't know what is. £253 would buy you one of these, and Norman Hyde managed to achieve 93.4 brake horsepower. And so on to the cheapest of our little gathering, £155 only will buy you the Carbon Can Company race can. And today they managed to achieve 93.5 brake horsepower. And so on to the limited edition Scorpion can, £199 for this nice oval race can. And after three runs with the Scorpion, it produced our best result so far, 94.66 brake horsepower. Remember, the standard can produced just 90. So just one left to go, the name that's been around probably the longest, Micron. This is their red alloy race can. And it gave the Scorpion a run for its money, managed to produce a top figure of 94.62. So, if all of that hasn't confused you, let me try and just clarify things a little bit. The standard can produced 90 brake horsepower. Hytera managed 92.9 brake horsepower. Devil, 93 brake horsepower. And the Edge, 93.3. The Norman Hyde can produced 93.4. Carbon Can Company, 93.5. And the Blue Flame, 94.5. There's absolutely very little to separate any of the cans. Micron managed 94.62, but the best result of our little selection on the day was produced from the limited edition Scorpion can, with a top power output of 94.66 brake horsepower. So what has all of that achieved? Well, it's achieved a very, very large headache for the cameraman because it's extremely noisy in a dyno room, believe me. But the results really were, well, as we suspected. Whilst all of these have improved the performance over the standard can, it's very, very difficult to split them. They're all very, very close. And if you covered up all the badges on them and went out on the bike, you'd, you'd never know. You just wouldn't know which can you had on. They're all easy to fit. You don't need any special tools. Some go on slightly better than the others. Some of the clamps are better than the others, but they all go on after a bit of fiddling about. No special tools, as I say, a couple of spanners, Allen bolt. They'll only go on one way. You can't get it wrong. It's as simple as that. So we've got polished ones carbon ones, colour matched ones, fancy textured ones and a fancy blue flame one there with some tricky colours on it. So really, at the end of the day, it's whatever you like the look of. Wherever you want to spend your money on to make your bike look nice, that's the one you need to buy. Because performance wise, you're not going to know the difference.